Hey everybody, it's Robo Monsto. I'm still trapped in space and you're still watching YouTube. Uh, we are going to play today with the Poppy Squad. These are players that don't have very good gloves, uh, that rely on offense to win. The more I use these guys, uh, the the more tickets I get, I get so that I can buy players using tickets instead of using my coins. That said, I bought five packs of Ortiz cards with coins. I think that you just get a better chance to get a good card out of these. So let's let's see what our captain gives us. We got five packs. Let's do this. All right, we got Kirby Yates, Wesley Wright, and Chris Carter. All right, that was a warm-up pack. Let's keep going. All right, pack number two. Ortiz looking strong. Dustin McGowan looking 63. Jeff Manship, Ryan Madsen. All right, I got uh, I got a reliever who's not bad. Three packs of cards here. David Ortiz, what do you got for me? Josh, Os Josh Osick, Steve Jeltz, and Mike Miner. All right, so I got a silver card there. Mike Miner's not too bad. A starter, uh, lefty, which is good. I don't have any lefty starters, and maybe maybe he can crack the lineup. Here we go. We got two packs left. Ortiz, come on, buddy. You can do better than this. Let's do this. Williams Perez, AJ Shugel, and Zach Duke. All right. Last pack of the Ortizies. Let's do this, Davo. Poppy, 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 poppy. Nothing. All right. I'll remember that. I'll remember that big poppy. All right. I'm going to set up my squad, my poppy squad for the day, and I'll be back. All right, we are back. Here is my Poppy team, the only player on the team right now who is not a bad fielder is Jungo Gong, and I put him at shortstop so that I could put A-Rod over at third. That is the base A-Rod. That is not a, a flashback or any of those, those million-dollar cards that are out right now. But let's see how they play. All right, we're going up against the Stars, who also have A-Rod, so I think we have the same idea going. He's got Jason Kipnis at second. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Brad Miller at short, Zach Wheeler pitching. So we've got Alex Rodriguez coming up against uh, Ryan Vogel song. He is our uh, flashback Vogel song that I got for collecting 25 Giants. Um, I am a Pirates fan, so uh, Ryan Vogel song is a name that I just will never forget. And now he's a pirate again, so I figured why not put him on the Poppy Squad? and uh, send him up here to space to play on the satellite. So Zach Wheeler is ready to party. Uh, he's towing the rubber. Let's go. There we go. Right back up the middle. There we go, Herrera. I knew you had it in you, buddy. I'm so proud of you. All right, we're going to check out the Vogel Song slider. We're going to try to leave it outside. See what happens. Come on, double play, baby. Oh, we got it. We got it. Let's go back to the dugout. Oh, so you're going to throw Chris Carter, huh? Not an X-Files fan? All right, fine. Another foul ball. Uh, the uh, the ball boy over there does nothing. Doesn't care. There we go, Quinn. Good eye. Good eye. Let's play baseball. Come on, Jared Parker. Look at those locks. Oh, Parker. Parker! Parker! Oh, that was a no-doubter, Parker. I love you, dude. That was beautiful. Parker, what a beast. Jarrett Parker, go Giants. Preston Tucker, let's make it back-to-back. -back. We're not going to make it back-to-back -back with, with a swing that slow. That was Preston Tucker's fault. It wasn't mine because you saw how skilled I am. You know, with that home run, you see that I'm really good. All right, so now... Now our Hollywood star has quit. All right, so that was quick and painless. He didn't like that at all. He couldn't he couldn't stand up to Jerry Parker at all. He fears the Giants. The Giants don't fear him. The Hollywood stars, that's another loss for you. You're never going to win if you quit. Take that as a lesson, kids. What card are we going to get? I think it'll be Oliver Perez. That's the card. Oh. Well, I don't even care. Jake Buchanan? Thanks. Jake Buchanan, I mean, even if you're having Christmas and he's in your family and he shows up, you're going to be like, oh, hey, Jake Buchanan. 
You're not gonna be excited. Even if he brings presents. Because he doesn't, you know he doesn't make a lot. He's gotta make a lot. So what's he gonna get you, like, an ab roller? I need an ab roller. All right, so let's go back. Let's, let's, let's just play another game. That was too quick. All right, we're back. It looks like Evan Encarnacion is gonna be the enforcer here on the Raiders. That is through. I'm I'm happy he just didn't hit it into Oregon. Quentin Berry, I like you. I remember earlier in the day, like 15 minutes ago, I was saying some some rotten stuff about you, but we're friends now, and I feel like we kind of worked out our differences. So please help me get out of space. What was that, Quentin Berry? I hate you. All right, so Jimmy Rollins is up. I hate Quentin Berry. Let's go. So while we're here, we're uh, we're having a bit of an argument with uh, with the Raiders bats. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the room, not the room. We've all talked about the room at one point or another. Let's talk about Room, starring Brie Larson. Uh, I was, I think that Room and Spotlight were my favorite movies of uh, 2015. Uh, Brie Larson in Room was my favorite performance. Uh, she was she was hard to watch. Uh, she was subtle. Um, I thought that that in Room she could have been uh, hysterical the whole time, and it would have made sense. But she played it strong. She played it quiet, and she played it subtle. And I really I, I can't explain how much I appreciate. Uh, the Oscars giving her that award for that part because there is a lot of power in holding back sometimes and I feel that she did a great job uh, it was also a really frightening story uh, it was it had a little bit of a, a horror vibe for me I always try to find a horror vibe in movies because horror is easily my favorite genre A-Rod giving it a ride it's gone it's gone! But yeah, for, for the people that haven't seen Room, uh, I recommend it. Uh, everybody in it's great. Uh, the kid's the kids awesome. Um, I really enjoyed the kid. The kid was very believable. Uh, I'm not going to give anything away about this story. Just, just watch it. And if you've seen it, tell me what you think. If you hated it, please let me know. Kashner, did you give that up? Is that gone? Oh, it's gone! Parker with two home runs! Oh my goodness! Parker, what a day you're having! What a day! There you go! Touch them all! You earned it. Preston Tucker wants a piece. Let's go! Oh. Crush it! Crush it! Get to second! Get to second! Alright. Two men on base with no outs. Did I get enough of it? I did. Oh, A-Rod. Yes. Three and two count made that happen. He's not so strong that he can hit everything out, but if you can fill up the count, get something in the in your wheelhouse and make it happen. Real Muto. He's a good friend of mine. He just texted me and told me that he did watch Room, and he loved it. He, he thought that Brie Larson's performance was genius. Quentin Berry, though, he told me that he thought Brie Larson should have been naked in that corner. I'm like, dude, come on. Quentin Berry, you're a bum, dude. You don't deserve to be on this team. All right, so the Raiders are down 4 nothing to our Gizmonics. Let's keep things going. In this inning, I'd like to... Uh, well, first off, I'd like to play well, but I would also like to talk about my favorite show of all time, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, I can't say enough about it. It was, it was my adolescence. Uh, when I was 13 or 14, I discovered it on Comedy Central, and I watched every episode. You know, I wrote letters to the show, and I just thought that it was the coolest thing ever. I loved bad movies. I always loved watching them, and, and then here are these these, uh, these 
robots and this guy uh, just making funny jokes about the movies, uh, saying things that I was thinking, and then, of course, saying things that I had no idea about, things that went way over my head. And there was something in the challenge of that that really made me a super fan. And I've lived and died by the show ever since. It hasn't been on in a long time. Uh, it was canceled in, uh, in 2000. So I've been watching reruns ever since. And now, of course, Joel Hodgson has uh, rebooted the show thanks to a huge Kickstarter. So we're going to have Patton Oswalt. There's so many names, and I'm forgetting them all. Uh, Jonah. Jonah Ray? Am I wrong? I, I'm doing a terrible job of, uh, of talking up the new, the new show. But after a little bit of initial trepidation, because it is my favorite show, and I didn't want anything to come along that would kind of ruin the legacy of it, I'm really excited now. I can't wait to see what they do with the show, um, what the, the guest writers like Dan Harmon will do when they get their turn. It's just going to be kind of a, just a geek fest. And I hope that it, it makes itself happy before it tries to make everybody else happy. That's the most important thing to me, is that with all these guys, with all this geek cred out there that are going to be writing for the show and starring in it, uh, I feel like there might be a desire to make the show what everybody wants it to be. And the thing about Mystery Science Theater was, it was the show it wanted to be. And that has to be what they remember when they're making the show. And Jared Parker, I love you, dude. We are cool. Whoa. Did you see what he just did to that ball? Jared Parker. Magician. But yeah, my last word on the show is that I can't wait to see what movies they watch. Uh, I can't wait to, to get to know the mood of the new show. And of course, I can't wait to see Patton Oswalt as the... As TV's son of TV's Frank. What really excites me about that is that if that's the case, then TV's Frank actually had sex. That's 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 huge. That's such a revelation. And now I wish more of the original cast and crew uh, were involved, but uh, I think that Joel has always kind of been his own guy, and I'm not sure if he has a bunch of close friends from the original cast and crew. I think that when he left the show originally, he felt, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't think he felt like he was a very important piece of it. So this is going to be more his baby. I think he'll have a lot more say in what goes on. So I think it's going to be great. And I got to meet Joel a couple years ago at the Baltimore Comic Convention uh, before I was shot into space, of course. Actually, I shot myself into space, but we'll get into that. Anyway, before I ended up in space, I got to meet Joel. Oops. And uh, he has to be one of the nicest people that I've ever met. Couldn't get any RBIs in that inning, so. But yeah, that's about all I have to say about Mystery Science Theater and the, and the new show. And I'll, I'll talk more about uh, particular episodes and stuff. So here we go, trying to extend that at bat with A-Rod again. There we go, get it right back up the middle. Ooh, and you're so slow, A-Rod. That's going to be an out. All right, so JT Rail Muto starting to feel the manager's eyes on him. He hasn't gotten a hit yet for, for me, and I will kick him right out of space. But he just did that. Look at that. It's like he was listening. He just hit a ground ball to the shortstop that no play could be made on. And he gets to stay on the team. Steal second. Go for second, buddy. Go! That's right. Real Muto trying to prove himself. Meanwhile, Quentin Berry is just... He's dead to me. So dead to me. One, one and one. This is a dead man walking right here. As soon as I can get an upgrade, Quentin Berry, you're off the team! You were off the team. Mid-interview, I'm going to kick you off the team. I'm going, to, I'm going to send you down to the minors during your press conference. I'm going to interrupt you as you talk about how happy you are to be playing. I will come down from space to embarrass you. Let's go. Oh. 
All right, that got out of play. All right, so it's three and two. Come on, Quentin. I love you. Ugh, Quentin. Done. You're done. All right, Vogel's song is is at a three to two, three and two count right now. And he's going to walk him. All right. As I said, if anybody gets on base, Vogelsong is going to have a seat. So we're going to bring in a lefty here. All right. So this guy this guy wants to make it happen. He's going to mess with me a little bit here. Messing with my emotions, but it's okay. I understand. I would do it too. Get him. Oh. He surprised me with that uh, with that run to second. Okay, but now we got a man on second, but we got one out. So I'll trade that. I'll trade that guy for an out all day. We're gonna leave the lefty in right now, just to see what happens. I want to run a slider in on his hands. It's always a tough pitch to deal with. Ooh, Ooh come on up. All right, that's gonna be a run. Let's uh, let's let's get a let's get an outfielder to the ball. How about that. So we've got a double, bringing in a run. All right, four to one. Now we got Evan Encarnacion. Of course, Romo, you're coming in. All right, so Sergio Romo's on, on the rubber. Let's see what you can do. And we got to use that slider to our advantage here. There we go, good. That's what his slider does. It'll tie you up in knots. Got to get that call. Come on. There we go. I don't think that one's got the distance there, Edwin and Carnacion. That. It's two down. Come on. Got one more to go. Luis Valbuena. He wants to make things, make things hard for me. Little does he know. I'm here to make things hard. We got a sinker. Round ball to second. I think that's going to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gizmonics, they do it twice. I'm a show vet. I'm a show vet. I got a silver trophy. So. A-Rod with a huge game. Two for four with two home runs. A-Rod, you're great. So as you see, this is our box score. Rodriguez lit it up. And then we had Barry. Barry with one strikeout. Uh, no hits. No nothing. He didn't do anything. And... Uh, He's also kind of a pig, so that might be the last we see of him. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, uh, comment. You know, let me know what you think about Rue. What do you think about Mystery Science Theater? What do you, what do you think about anything? I'm, I'm here to talk. So, and uh, give me a give me a subscribe. Thanks.